historically, people have given up on us. Amber displays all sorts of behavioural problems. Over the years, we've accessed services, various after-school clubs and so on. And after a time, people have said to us, we can't cope. And never once have I had a time where Jubilee have said to us, we can't cope, we're not going to give you this service anymore. And we know that every time my daughter has shown a new behavioural problem, which is incredibly challenging, they found a way to overcome it, which helps us and which helps her as well. They've helped her to feel as if she's a regular person when she accesses the service. She's not made to feel as if she's a child with special needs who's going along to give her parents a break. She feels like she's going along to have a nice day or a nice couple of days. It's a service which is tailor-made and built around her and her needs. My son's very happy. He was very happy at the child unit. He's still very happy coming to the adult services. Disabled children don't like change, they like the same people around them. It's hard for them to get used to other people. And the fact that the same staff are in the children's unit as in the adult unit, that was such a help during the transition period from child to adult services. I wanted a service that was close to our house so that I could be with Sophie if she ever needed me, if she had a fit, or if she was ever ill. The Jubilee House is also close to her local school, which has good access points so that she can get to and from school for tea visits and overnight stays. And it's also close to the local hospital. If there was ever an emergency, I know that Sophie could get there very quickly. I've often said in the past that without the service that we receive um, as a family we would not, I don't think, be together. The staff just accept Cameron for who he is um, and they work with that, they work with us and it's so refreshing to meet people that accept your child for who he is despite any disabilities it's almost like they don't see them and through good times and bad they've been there for Cameron and supported him and the family without question and that's a wonderful feeling. It was very difficult to let go of Alison like any parent I'm one of those that didn't want to let go but after 25 years with Jubilee House and the care that she's received there, I let her go and now I am really happy that she's a happy person in herself as well. She's enjoying life, she's doing everything that we couldn't do for her. She's been rowing, she goes dancing, she's even been to a show in London. Every parent thinks that Nobody can look after their child like you can, but they can. <laughs>